What does the month ahead hold for you? Hey guys, it's Tarot and Beyond. Welcome back and we are doing another reading today for the month ahead. This is for December 2023 and in this pick a card reading we are going to be diving deep into the juicy details of what the month ahead holds for you. We have three groups to choose from today as usual. Group number one is the I Give Blessings card. Group number two is the I Am Accepting card. And group number three is I keep my own counsel. So go ahead and select the card or cards that feel like they are drawing you to them. Use the timestamps linked in the description box or the chapter notes below to jump ahead to your chosen reading or readings, and we'll see you there. All right, hello, group number one. Welcome to your December 2023 reading. You guys chose I give blessings. Now I haven't pre-selected any cards for this reading so we're really just going to kind of freestyle it which is you guys know my favorite way of doing things but I do have some se selected decks that I felt drawn to for these particular readings so we're going to use those. Starting us off we have the the Herbal Astrology Oracle. Calendula Purity. Okay it's ever since uh I received this deck and thank you to the donor who sent this in to us. This card has been coming out non-stop. So this seems like it's a collective energy that's kind of buzzing around right now. Purity is of note and I feel like it's this purification so that you can enter into the new year completely free of any burdens. It's like going in with a completely fresh mind, fresh self. I don't know, just it feels like a fresh perspective and I think it's going to be a really beautiful thing for you in December group number one because you're able to it's it's like through your own purity you're able to share a lot of blessings with other people we also have motherwort strength okay let's get some more cards on the table I don't want to start diving too deep into the message just yet What can group number one expect in the month of December, Spirit? What do they need to know for the month ahead? Walk your truth. This is another one of those cards that keeps coming up. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we need one of these cards. Or two, serenity through love, release, and inner work. I know peace. I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. And then we have one step at a time. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I make progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. So it's, it's almost beginning to look, group number one, as though December is going to be a month where you are tested or challenged a little bit to just like have the strength to walk in your pure essence. Does that make sense? Like finding what feels serene within you, finding your center, and then actually living that and, and walking that one step at a time. It's interesting that you have walk your truth and one step at a time here. So this is very much about moving forward because that's what walking really signifies. It's like you're moving somewhere. You're going and doing something. You're not standing still. And I think that what you're moving toward is sharing your gifts. It's it's blessing others by walking your walk and talking your talk. You know, it's like um, you're really embodying what it is that you stand for, what it is that you are really it's like this empowered state of beingness that i'm really picking up on here and it's through this purity that you are creating for yourself i was going to say tapping into but then when, when the words came out of my mouth it said creating and when i'm in a channeling state doing readings like this what comes out of my mouth is what is truth so i really see you 
releasing a lot because that's what purity and purification really kind of entails. It's like you're releasing a lot and allowing yourself to just be. It, it's this purity of your essence that allows you to walk in this empowered state. So what does that actually mean um, for your month ahead? Well, let's get some tarot cards on the table here and find out. No, we'll keep going. For group number one, what is this actually going to look like? Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah, talk about taking the first step, group number one. You are definitely taking a step in the right direction in December. It feels like you're getting a lot of clarity and this purification is helping you do that. It's like the more that you release, the more that you remain brave and have the strength to just walk in what feels right for you and trusting that the universe is going to support you in that, no matter what that means for you. It, it really does kind of give you this clarity and this... Yeah. I just heard attempt at bravery. I was kind of like mid-sentence and whenever spirit tells me something, I kind of like have to stop and listen. They said attempt at bravery and they showed me the ace of swords. And it's like the, the, the sword is being put in your hand for the first time in a long time, group number one, and you are, you are doing this attempt at bravery to walk your truth. It's like it takes a lot of courage to just show up exactly as you are and to let your gall to let your guards fall down and to have the audacity to just be you. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what I'm seeing in December. It's like you're, you're just giving zero Fs and you're like, I'm just going to do me. And whatever that means, I'm going to live it and I'm going to walk it. And it's going to lead me to my peace because I'm done with being in fear. I'm done with doubting myself. I'm done with feeling less than. I'm going to face these things that I have being afraid of, I'm going to cultivate that strength. I'm going to do this attempted bravery because I know that it's going to lead me to my pure essence. And you're doing that. Like you're not just thinking about doing it. You're actually doing it in December. Yeah, I do feel these three cards. The hanged man in reverse. You are taking steps in December, group number one. The hanged man reversed is you're like you're coming down out of that temporary limbo position that you've been stuck in and you're actually doing it. Like whatever you've been contemplating doing for the past little while and maybe you felt afraid of starting or, or speaking up or doing something that you knew you needed to. It's like you you felt it, but maybe you hadn't admitted it to yourself, but it's through this pure essence uh, and your authentic desire or intention to be yourself and how that is a blessing for you and for the world that you're really starting to like move forward in that direction nine of discs wow okay so december is going to be very abundant and you are going to feel so confident group number one confident in yourself confident in your strength confident in this su successful attempt at bravery and the steps that you're making forward are going to be showing up around you i feel like you're going to be appreciating every little thing in your environment and it's just, it's kind of like giving me this, yeah, serenity. We have serenity over here. We have the nine of discs, which is the nine of pentacles. So this is very much about you feeling at peace and having what I like to call a nine of pentacles moment where you're just able to sit and absorb everything and be in a deep state of gratitude and contentment. That is the nine of pentacles moment. And whether or not you are actually, you know, feeling or experiencing external abundance. It's in that moment that you feel abundant no matter what your environment or your external circumstances are all about. Because you've tapped into your own inner strength and that strength really comes through that purity of gratitude and serenity that you are doing this month, <laughs> group number one. Wow, the emperor, yeah, like no kidding here. Group number one, you're gonna be really strong and confident in December really really strong and confident and you are going to you're going to be implementing i i just felt that very clearly you're going to be implementing you're going to be starting something you're going to be making those steps forward taking those steps forward we have the hermit as well hmm
you're on a journey. Um, you're on a quest here. You know, the hermit, they, they go out into the dark of night on this journey, on this quest of self-discovery to find this truth, to walk this path of truth. It's like, it's a pilgrimage of sorts. You're, you're, you're on this pilgrimage. And um, I think that, bottom of the deck, four of swords, I think that a lot of this is going to come through you just kind of tuning in to what feels right for you and what is true for you. I think meditation is going to be important. Look at these two cards. They're sitting in a similar stance, you know, in that lotus position. Um, it feels like being very grounded, tuned into yourself, your body, your environment, and getting very clear on what you need to do. And because you feel so grounded in yourself and in the universe, it's like you're able to make these action plans and steps. It's not just a plan in December. I think you've been planning this for a while, whatever it is. You've been thinking about it for a long time. And December is finally the month where you implement. Like that is the 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 key word for your month ahead. Group number one, implement. But it's interesting because if that's the key word, I think the backing to that or the resource that is going to help you to implement is this meditative state that allows you to experience serenity. So it's like you're able to tap in and be very introspective and meditative. And then as a result of that, what you get in those states of peace, you are able to then implement in a very actionable way. So it's this really beautiful harmony between the feminine polarity, which is receiving, and the masculine polarity, which is doing and acting. So I think you're really going to see some progress this month group number one because you are really tapped in and you're able to walk that truth okay now we're gonna clear these away and we're gonna start looking at your charm chart okay so we're gonna go even deeper right now we're gonna look at the major themes of the month ahead in terms of the different categories all right, so this is my handy dandy homemade charm chart. If this is your first time on the channel or the first reading that you're seeing, I made this myself. It's a little janky DIY, but it works. So we're going to get more information using the charms on this chart of what December holds in each category of your life. So for group number one, Spirit, what else do they need to know about the month ahead? Okay, so group number one, we're going to start with work. Now, this doesn't have to be a job. It can be anything that you're putting a lot of effort into on a daily basis. You have live the life you love. Yeah, that's very nine of pentacles, right? This is all about doing what feels right for you. It's living an authentic life, doing what you enjoy, feeling that deep gratitude in those moments of connectivity to your body, to your soul and to your environment. It's feeling very at peace and at home and just feeling really grateful for that moment of, of pure bliss is kind of what I'm getting here. And it's like you're being encouraged to do work every day that you love. And if you don't love your work, maybe that's something that is going to kind of require you to have a little bit of strength to walk your truth and take a little bit of a, a, a new approach with that Ace of Swords energy, new approach to working towards one step at a time to what is going to lead to a life where you can actually get up every day and look forward to what it is that you're doing. Now, in the home front, this, the, by the way, the live the life you love charm was kind of in between work and home. So I feel like this could even be like transitioning into a work from home situation, maybe remote working or getting a job that you can work from home or feeling like your work is your home in some way. And making those adjustments this month is really going to help you to get to this state of feeling very abundant generous and, grat and and gratified in your actions. Now, yes, on the actual home front, we have the green moon with the star, and then we have two of these little cat charms with the flowers. Now, I find that interesting when there's two of these, especially in one zone, I really kind of take note. So you may have several cats. That could be quite a literal thing here, like there's three cats here. You may have cats or several cats. Um, but if that's not the case, I feel like 
in a more symbolic sense, in a more energetic sense, I just feel like your home is going to feel very safe and comfortable because I know as a cat lover myself, um, for those of you who are not new to the channel, you guys know Kitty, <laughs> my cat Kitty, and uh, I feel like cats are very... very comfort oriented. They enjoy luxuriating, right? They can lounge around and really just enjoy being in their safe space. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting for you in December. It's like, it's going to feel very cozy. You're going to feel very content. Um, it's like, I'm literally hearing and feeling warmth and I'm hearing purring. You can't really hear warmth. I meant I'm feeling warmth and I'm hearing purring. So yeah, it's like this contentment, comfort, satisfaction, um, this moment of, of enjoyment or bliss or serenity, whatever you want to call it, that gives you a feeling of abundance. That's really what I'm getting here. And especially in the home front. Now, I, I do also see that uh, getting lots of rest in the month of December is going to be important with that moon charm there. And cats sleep a lot too. So that's kind of what I'm getting. December, you, you know, you might be busy, you're taking a lot of steps, you're doing a lot of things, it is taking a lot of strength and courage to purify and to walk your walk. That's why I think Spirit is recommending here for the month of December for you to be making sure that you are resting. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. In my mind, I'm seeing a cat running around having the zoomies and then hunkering down and sleeping for like eight hours or not eight hours, but you know, they sleep for long periods of time throughout the day. So it's kind of that type of behavior where you're balancing do, 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 and then rest again. It's like that balance of masculine and feminine. So you're going and doing both in, in different equations of the day or different portions of the day. And you're finding the equation that works for you. You're finding the, the solution that is very balanced and helps you to walk your truth. In family, look at that. We've got another cat. I didn't even notice that. Look at how many cats are in your reading, group number one. So again, you could have a connection to feline energy um, and you have another moon here. So this is like a very emotional thing for you. And cats and, and felines, they're highly sensitive as well. Highly sensitive. Cats can see energy. Cats are very psychic. Um, I remember when I first started to actually see energy, not just with my third eye, but actually with my physical eyes. And um, I started seeing orbs in the room. And before I could see those, uh, I would always watch Kitty like run after something that was there. And I'm like, you're crazy. Like, there's nothing there. What are you doing? And then when I started being able to see energy, I could see what she was, what she was trying to attack or like running after or chasing after. It was like these little orbs of energy. And I'm like, oh. I was the one who was not able to see it. Not not you crazy. I was crazy because I couldn't see it. Um, so I feel like this psychicness is really coming up or it's coming to the forefront this month. And it's interesting because these are falling in the family zone, the home and family zone. So I feel like the more that you can tap into your authenticity, the more that you are going to feel at home in your lineage, at home in your, I don't know, I'm getting like, Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, it's beyond just your physical family, like parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles. It's like um, the family of your soul. And I'm also getting companionship from the cats because cats, despite kind of being a little bit boxed or, you know, despite being categorized as more independent, they are, they definitely are, but they're also still very social creatures and they are, they bond for life, like the relationship I, Kitty and I have is like, there's nothing else like it. And we've been together for, for 14 years now. So the level of trust and companionship and connection is really what I'm seeing deepening this month for you with your home, yourself and your family, but not just your biological family. I think it's your soul family. And that is literally everyone and everything, but it could be specific people as well. Now, we don't have anything in the friends category, and that doesn't mean that there's nothing going on with your friends in the month of December. It's just maybe not a focus quite so much for this month. I think it's going to be a lot more home and family, which makes sense because if you celebrate the holidays and Christmas and things like that, it is more family oriented. But uh, yeah, there's probably some good stuff with friends too. Now, in social media, and the reason why I included this in the chart is because a lot of us are on social media and 
uh, there's many different aspects to that. Like you're literally on it right now if you're watching this video. So um, that's kind of what I, that's why I included it. You have the eye of Horus. I also heard Ra. So yeah, it's kind of like same or similar energy. I'm, I'm seeing you peering through, peering through a screen into a different perspective or mindset. So it's almost like you're looking through a window into something that you've never seen before. And you're very, very, very interested in it. Group number one, it feels like it's fascinating you. It's intriguing. There's something that you're seeing that you didn't see before, or at least you didn't see it in the same way. And it's through this insight that you're getting, which is happening on social media that you are able to expand your mind and i think that that helps to lead you into this movement forward toward being grounded and anchored in the present moment like that's that nine of pentacles energy and i feel like you're going to be very focused very focused and mindful i think that's the best word for it in the month of december you're going to feel very mindful and you're going to see a lot of good things come from that Now, in the self category, you have another green moon. So that's three different green moons in one reading. Okay, and this is in your self category. So it's talking about diving deep into yourself. The moon in our, in our astrology, in our natal chart, is like the emotional self. It is our inner world. And I think it's, it's going to be a focus this month. December is going to be a very introspective month for you. We did see the Hermit card coming up in your main part of the reading. So yeah, it's definitely going to be introspective, internal, meditative, mindful, self-reflective, and it's enhancing your psychic abilities because three moons in one reading plus the Eye of Horus and all these cats, I mean, come on, this is psychic abilities in a nutshell. And I really feel like you are expanding those and that's part of your truth. And guess what? The third eye chakra in soul realignment modality, which is a form of Akashic reading that I do, um, the third eye chakra is related to the energy of divine truth. Yes, so you are seeing a deeper truth of yourself. You're seeing a deeper truth of the world around you. You're gaining different perspectives and you are expanding because of that. Like you are going to really significantly grow. You've got the little whale charm here in the south. And this, this feels like a harrowing journey. Again, I just got this energy of bravery again. I don't know why I'm getting like Jonah in the whale, Pinocchio in the whale. It's kind of like you are, um, you're going inside something that felt threatening or too big for you and you're facing that fear and you're coming out of it alive. Yeah, they just showed me, they're showing me all of these scenes in these movies and stories of people being inside whales. Um, they showed it to me where uh, Marlin and Dory are inside the whale and Marlin's really scared and he's hanging onto the, to onto the tongue and Dory's like, we need to let go, it's time to let go. And Marlin's like, how do you know everything's going to be okay? How do you know what's going to happen? She's like, I don't. And she's like, you just got to trust or something like that. And then she lets go and he finally is able to face his fear. And it's this act of bravery that leads him into safety. He faces his fear of the unknown and uncertainty. And it's through that he's able to find his son and reconnect to his family and grow his family. So it feels something like that. It's like you're facing a deep fear within yourself and you're going inside of it and then surrendering and trusting and it's like you come out of that. You come out of that bigger, stronger, and braver than you ever were before. It is a profound act of bravery in the month of December group number one. And it's because you're being willing to look at these things and to dive into them. You're going to grow exponentially. Look, whales are huge. Your spirit is growing exponentially. They're also showing me the heart of the whale. Um, whales are very compassionate beings too, by the way. And uh, you may have Syrian energy, the reference to Egypt and the reference to the whales. Even the feline energy, there are a, a race of feline beings from Sirius as well. They're like big white lions. Uh, so the planet Sirius is what I'm talking about here. Or sorry, the, the, the Syrian star system is what I'm talking about here. And uh, there's there's two main planets in that area that are habited, inhabited, but uh, yeah, th there could be, yeah, there could be something about that as well. That could be something that you're tapping into that's helping you unlock this deeper truth at a psychic level. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and then romance, nothing of main focus this month. Doesn't mean that's not going to be involved in your in your month of December, but it's just not something that spirit finds relevant to talk about. And then in spiritual guidance, we have the tree. And it's a big tree at that, like it almost takes up my entire palm. So I feel like the spiritual guidance this month for you, group number one, is to allow yourself to take root. It's like bury your roots deep, go deep into your roots, which could be exploring your history as a soul, your family, your lineage, your psychic abilities, um, how you feel gratitude, how you trust yourself, all of these things. It's like a big deep dive into your root system, growing those out, creating more stability, and then you're going to exponentially expand as a result of that because you can't grow up unless you go grow down at the same time. As above, so below. As below, so above. So the deeper your roots, the stronger and taller the tree. That is what I see for you, group number one. Uh, before you go, I do want to pull a final oracle from the Rumi deck. Oh, it is this one. Okay, what is it? Layla. Let's read this together. Why don't we? Let me just put this right here. All right, group number one. So Layla says, put aside your clever schemes, O lover. Be mindless. Become mad. Dive into the heart of the flame. Become fearless. Be like a moth. Turn away from the self and tear down the house. Then come and dwell in the house of love. Be a lover. Live with lovers. Clean your chest from all hostility. Wash it seven times. Then fill it with the wine of love. Be a chalice for love. Be a chalice. You must be all love to be worthy of the beloved. When going to the gathering of drunks, be a drunk, become drunk. Your thought takes a course dragging you in its wake. Move beyond thought. Let your heart lead. Be the leader. When the grace of love is revealed, be a mirror to reflect it. When the beloved's hair is loosened, brush it like a comb. Be a comb. How I long for my thoughts to no longer make any sense to me. Then I can be rid of them like noisy house guests who have overstayed their welcome. Oh, the peace when they finally go. Their incessant chatter brings me no comfort. I crave the silence of you. Will you let me hear it? Will you run through the noisy house of my mind with your great muddy feet so that I can focus on something other than my mind for a while? Maybe you can make such a mess that I shall give up any plans and attempts at order completely. Just give in for a change. It's time for that. To give up my ridiculous fantasies of perfection. Useless, noisy, irritating, demanding, and yet deadening perfection. I'd rather just be alive. I want to plant my head in the earth, in the same mud that sticks to your feet, and breathe in her rich soil smell. I want to feel her heart beating in the quiet moments of the roots of the plants as they stretch and grab and stop my ears with her fertile dirt, finally gaining peace from the constant infernal racket of thoughts no longer wanted. Wow. So... We can see some themes there, right? Very similar to the reading. So I love when spirit confirms what we're picking up on from the cards and the energy and shows us kind of in a summarized way through those oracle messages of what you can kind of expect in this month. So the energy is very much about coming back into yourself, getting very clear, slowing down, stilling your mind, finding that serenity, finding that peace and your truth. And through that, activating that, you are grounding, you are becoming more alive, you are connecting back to who you truly are. And then you're going to walk that truth, you're going to be that. And it's going to feel so, so abundant. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you in the month ahead. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it supports you on this journey that you are walking through December and beyond. Thank you so much for being here on the channel. I so appreciate you guys and your energy in these readings. Thank you for supporting my work in the various ways that you do, whether it's through sending in card decks, viewing the videos, liking, sharing, subscribing, becoming a member here on the channel for the additional content ad-free and the monthly live streams where you guys can ask me personal questions. And if you guys are interested in diving even deeper in a personal one-on-one -on -one session, I do have those available as well as other downloadable content through my website, which is linked in the description box below. All right, guys, I love you and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye. All right. Hi, group two. Welcome to your December reading. You guys chose this card. I am accepting. 
and right away before we've even we're even pulling any cards sometimes i just get messages really really quickly and i'm seeing you guys receiving something the hand here holding open ready to receive it feels like you're accepting something i.e you're actually receiving something something new is coming in let's find out what that is in the month of december so i think we're gonna go into yeah let's do the herbal astrology oracle first for you group one sorry group two <laughs> mugwort psychic healing wow okay okay i i just keep seeing you getting a gift maybe it's oh my gosh okay i just got something very specific i don't think this is going to be for everyone but if it's for you you will know and what it is is the, a float tank i just saw 111 on the recording time too um a float tank she's floating in the water here and i saw a gift certificate for or to a place that has a float tank and then somebody going there and connecting to their psychic senses because basically what float tanks are is sensory deprivation so you go into this into this pod or this tank where the water is super full of uh what are those called epsom salts yeah and it lightens your body weight so you're floating perfectly in the water and the water is the same temperature as your body so it feels like you're floating in space and then all the lights are off and there's no sound and it's just you like it feels like you're floating in space it just feels like you are pure consciousness it is the coolest feeling but it can also be really scary because it can bring up your fears it can really kind of face you with yourself and your psyche but i see you doing some psychic healing in the month of december group number two so i do feel like if you are given a gift certificate to a place that has a float tank or maybe you just feel called to go to one this could be something that is really going to help you to do some deep deep healing psychologically i do see you enhancing your psychic abilities with the owl there and seeing into other dimensions i remember the first time i, I ever went to a float tank it was the craziest experience and it was actually spirit who intuitively led me there like i literally got in my car and they said we're gonna point you in where you're gonna go and i literally just started driving and they would tell me turn left turn right turn left turn right i had no idea where i was i was in a part of the city i'd never been and end up driving down this road and spirits like turn right here and i turn right and there's a float tank place and they were like look in your wallet and a couple of months earlier, somebody had given me a discount coupon to go to a float tank place and I forgot about it and it was just sitting in my wallet for all that time. And I looked in my wallet and there it was and it was for that place that Spirit had just led me and I was like, holy shit. So I went in and um, yeah, I'm lying there in the pure dark and it feels like you're just floating in nothingness and all my fears started coming up. I'm like, sharks are gonna eat me and like, uh, I'm all alone in the world and all of these things, you know, existential crisis. And then, and then I went even deeper. And then I started seeing figures in my, in my, in my third eye. I started seeing beings that were there. And uh, there was like alien beings, which was before I got into all the starseed stuff and started doing Kashyyyk galactic readings and all that. So that was like my intro to seeing Arcturians and Syrians. <laughs> and, um, and then I saw the God consciousness. And then I was the God consciousness. It was really cool. If you've ever seen the episodes of The Simpsons where Homer and Lisa go into float tanks, mine was like Lisa's experience. <laughs> So yeah, I, I would check that out. Anyways, that was a very direct example, but I feel like it's going to be something like that. It doesn't have to be literally that you're receiving a coupon or a gift certificate to a float place, but I think there's going to be something like that, that really deeply psychically heals you and activates you and it gives you this portal into the other dimensions and you're able to receive some kind of a gift either before or after that i felt called to the roomy oracle right away for you guys where i waited until the end for the for group one but it says the courage of your love okay i'm gonna wait to read the message from that
but I'm seeing you like I'm seeing you seeing into beyond dimensions like I, I just keep getting that message because like look at this hold on I know that that card needs to be here so let me actually just move that out of the way uh you've got like this projection coming from what appears to be like this other bubble of a universe or dimension or parallel reality and it's like there's connection there's people viewing themselves in like a different portal or different different reality and then in this card we have this mirror thingy that kind of looks like a portal into a different dimension it feels very magical very psychic uh very otherworldly I just saw 555 five, five on the time. Holy crap. 111, 555. Five, five. This, this is like psychic activations that are moving you beyond space and time. Oh, and I was like just saying beyond space and time. And then I looked down and it says beyond fear. Beyond fear. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're like moving beyond your fears, group number two. You're getting into a whole other environment. Okay, I do want to get one of these cards. I just want to... Fill that space right there and it feels like this card is meant to be here being true i am true to myself and others i remove my mask and stop creating illusions i have confidence in who i am and i reveal the good in me i do not need to hide or prove anything i replace shame with the power of love and truth okay so that's how you're moving beyond fear this month group number two you're going to be transcending illusions i feel like you're you're seeing the projections really clearly and that's part of this psychic healing it's like you're accepting something about yourself this gift from spirit it, it does it feels like a physical gift but it's coming from spirit like it's not it's not even yeah it's like the example i was telling you about the story from earlier the person who gave me that float tank gift certificate was actually somebody who was who played a major pivotal role in my spiritual awakening. Um, she was actually the first person to tell me that I was an indigo. And she was the one who led me to Reiki. And she was the one who gave me that float tank thing. So she really like blew my consciousness out of the water. And now I'm a professional psychic medium. Like it was all because of her. It was like this catalyst. So I feel like there's somebody coming in this month who's actually giving you something. But it's like propelling you on this deep psychological and psychic expansion journey and it's it's through the energy and the courage to love and go beyond your fear to be your true self and to really it's like facing the projections and overcoming them that you are seriously expanding seriously expanding action my divine action incites love and harmony i am aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces i listen to my heart my desire to manifest light transforms tests into growth challenge into opportunity and fear into love yeah it's like a lot of a lot of transcending fear and transcending or transmuting it into love the power of love and truth it just that really stuck out to me the power of love and truth you're facing your fears you're you're replacing shame with the power of love and truth and that's what's allowing you to take action and move beyond fear this is some really really deep psychological healing this this month wow group number two this is intense but you also have courage here so don't worry you're going to feel really emboldened to be able to do this i am stronger than fear and bigger than doubt i am light i remain light i trust in god and stand tall before the tests of life i grow and become wiser through every challenge i am a being of new life I feel like there's not going to be any external challenges quite so much this month, group number two. It's this internal challenge to kind of find the truth in yourself by surrendering to the fear. Okay, now let me kind of explain that. You're not surrendering to the fear by letting it control you. What you're actually doing is surrendering to the fear by accepting and acknowledging it. And by doing so, you're able to transcend it. You're opening your hands to the fear. You see, you're welcoming it in and you're saying, let me get to know you. Let me understand you. Let me face you and become the version of me that is able to hold you and myself in, at the same time. You're able to love the fear. You're, you have the courage. You literally have the word courage twice in your reading. Courage, courage. You have the courage to move beyond the fear, to replace the shame, 
to move through these tests and challenges. You, you do have the word challenge twice here. It does feel like a test. It does feel like a challenge, but it's a psychological and psychic expansion. The only test here, the only challenge here is just being able to look at that fear and hold space for yourself with love. It's not some kind of external thing where you're seeing the fear mirrored back to you. I feel like you've actually already been through that. And that's kind of what caused you to turn inward in the first place. Okay, I want to get one of these cards for you. We didn't get these for group one. There's some similarities between your energy here in this reading group two and group one's energy. They, theirs was talking a lot about bravery um, and yours is talking about courage. So they're kind of similar, a little different, but brothers and sisters to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. And I just felt called to put it here beyond fear, underneath beyond fear, I should say. So it does feel, let me just move my bracelet so they stop hitting on the table. It does feel like by seeing love, you're able to move beyond the fear of these limiting projections that you were experiencing in your relationships to others. It's And it's not just your actual literal family. It's like your entire view on humanity changes because you see yourself more clearly. You You identify the projections and the areas where you have been untrue to yourself because the fear was distorting that truth and by facing that challenge by going up against that in this spiritual test because that's what it is you're able to overcome through the energy of courage to love it's courage to love yourself and therefore courage you will see that love being projected out because it's like we either project fear and then we fear others we project our own fears onto others and we fear them or we project love onto others and we love them it's like either way thankful think about the people and things you feel grateful for so december there's going to be a lot to feel grateful for i do feel like you're receiving some gifts and not just because it's the holidays i feel like you're going to be getting gifts in many different ways and you're getting gifts from spirit that are going to come directly through people in your life that are seated there at that time these are like soul brothers and sisters who are coming into your life, maybe maybe even for the first time, who are there to awaken you. They're there to help you to expand and to heal. And they're there to show you the power of love. That's really what I'm seeing. Oh my God, no way. Love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. So you, the, the challenge is like you're facing your own inner bully, group number two. That's really what I see. That's really what I feel. You're facing your own inner bully. And in doing so, you are overcoming the fear. It's like love heals fear. This is this is the major theme we're seeing in all these cards. It's psychic healing through applying love to fear. Love to fear. And you're able to move beyond it. Lavender. Take time to cleanse and remove negativity. Yeah. Yeah that's going to be a big focus here because that fear is a very low vibrational thing. That shame is low vibrational. That anger even, that's lower vibrational too. Lower vibrational doesn't mean bad. It just means it's a denser energetic emotion. And if you desire to have more of an expansive experience, more of an authentic expression, it's it's useful to tune into the vibration and frequency of love because it's much higher. It's much more expanded. Fear and shame and all these things are very dense and constricted. Love is open and expanded. So you can really feel the difference between this and this. You know, which do you want to be? And I really see in this month in December, you really want to be in that energy of love. And so you're having the courage to do that. Keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable. Spirit is really cheerleading you on this month, group number two. Spirit really wants you to know that you are doing well, that you are encouraged to pursue this path of love, to overcome these fears, to do this psychic healing, to tap into the deeper layers, uh, what has lain beyond your previous conception, expanding your mind, being true to yourself, overcoming these illusions that have been created from projection or from distortion of the truth. And anything other than love is a distortion of the truth. And there's varying levels to that. But love is the ultimate and highest truth. So 
anything that's not love, you can be, you can bet your bottom dollar. It's a distortion of some degree. So have the courage of this month group to, to really face your fears with love and you will see that there is so much to be thankful for. You will really receive a lot this month, physically, psychologically, spiritually, and so much more. Okay, let's gather up these cards and we're going to go into your charm chart. So we're going to do that this month. We're going to get really detailed information about the month to come using the different sort of segments and sectors of the charm chart. Alright guys, so let's get your charms. So for group two, what do they need to know in the month of December? Okay, so group number two. We're going to start with work as per usual, and we're going to take a look at these themes. Now, work doesn't have to be your job. It can be things that you do on a daily basis, goals that you have, really anything that you're doing um, sort of habitually in that way, but it can apply to your job, your career, your finances, those kinds of things. Now, you have love and beloved. Your work this December is going to be about spreading the love. I feel like you're going to be giving a lot. And like I said, you're going to be receiving a lot in return. You are going to be loved and be loved by people because you are in that vibration of love, because you are being that, because you are overcoming your fears, removing the projections and the distortions and actually showing up in this radiant energy of love. I see you really shining brightly, like your auric field is expanding big time. And as a result of that, there's a lot of growth, a lot of growth. You've got the big tree here um, and also this little kitty cat. So I do feel that your work this month, group number two, is going to grow as a result of you facing these fears, choosing love, and receiving some kind of gifts. I feel like you're being fed. They just so, they just showed me clairvoyantly um, food being poured into a cat bowl. You know, it's like somebody's taking care of you. The universe is taking care of you. Spirit is taking care of you. Other people are bringing things to you. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be in this receptive mode because you're exuding this light and love that people are just wanting to give you things. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot. You're going to be fed. You're going to be nourished. Um, your finances are going to be growing. You're really going to feel loved and you're, you're going to be in that deep gratitude. Didn't we see gratitude? Yeah, we did. So there's going to be gratitude here in the month of December that really allows you to, again, face that fear, overcome it, and replace it with love. Now, in the home front, we have this little cat with flowers and butterflies and little crystals. And then we have the Eye of Horus. Now, the cat is kind of looking up towards the Eye of Horus, so it kind of feels like you're getting a bird's eye view on something. You're watching something intently from home. You're getting, um, yeah, they keep showing me those, like the projection that we saw in your other cards. It's like that, that you're watching something, you're getting a bird's eye view, you're seeing something from a different angle that you didn't before. It's expanding you, it, it's helping you to see this more clearly. And it's happening at home, or it's something is catalyzing it at home. Huh. Okay. Hmm. In the family front, there's so much spirituality in your reading. You've got, well, first of all, you've got a music note. And this is reminding me of frequency. And you also have the hammer. And this is reminding me of like fixing something and I can't even pick it up. What the heck is going on? <laughs> there we go. You're fixing something. 
you're repairing something, you're building something, and it's to do with your frequency, because I do feel like these two charms are meant to be kind of read together. They're linked energetically. And then these other three charms you have are highly spiritual. You've got the Om sign, the Lotus, and the Eye. That's kind of like rising on the horizon. So a new day is dawning in terms of your psychic development, your psychological growth, your spiritual expansion. Like I said, I keep, sh I keep seeing your auric field expanding. I keep seeing your auric field strengthening and becoming brighter and lighter as you, you grow into that energy of love and remove any of that fear. It's not, that even, it's not even like you're removing the fear. It's not like you're banishing the fear and saying, get out of here, you suck. It's more like you're saying, I love you, fear, I understand you. You're part of me and you're welcome here. And it's just through doing that that the fear just dissolves and becomes love. So it's quite literally alchemy. You're doing this transmutative work. And that's what's fixing and raising your frequency. Yeah, big rise in frequency, big expansion in consciousness, big heart level ups. Your spiritual, uh, your holistic self is growing. You're spiritually evolving. Group number two, this is beautiful look at that you have the key in the friends territory and it kind of came out in between family and friends so i feel like this is a key a spiritual key that is being gifted to you from a friend that is part of your soul family because that was the example that i gave you from my friend mare in the beginning of this reading with the story of um like her telling me all of these things about me being a psychic because she could see my aura and introducing me to reiki and giving me that float tank coupon and all of these things like she was like the the key that unlocked my potential and uh, i'm grateful to, for her in my life every single day and so this is somebody like that for you group number two where they're part of your soul tribe they're part of your soul family at a larger scale you guys incarnate and reincarnate together in different lifetimes you play these different activation roles for each other and in this lifetime you have um i just heard the word conscripted but i don't i don't think it's like that mandatory or obligatory it's more so like this friend has volunteered to or been like enlisted as they are the perfect person to introduce you to this new level of yourself basically i think that's what that means but yeah there's a friend giving you a gift that is going to unlock something really big for you this month now in social media we have the purple butterfly I think that's purple and not blue. I am color deficient. Very rare in females, but it happens. Um, you also have the shell. It's like a little conch shell. And the fish bones. And the unicorn little pastel sparkly unicorn okay what is going on here these are such random things but there's always a meaning to it and social media this is anything from you know where you post your pics to content creation to consuming information or entertainment so it really really covers a lot of territory here i do see transformation Purple reminds me of the third eye. So again, I'm getting psychic development, psychic expansion. The, the fish bones here are reminding me of, um, you know, in like Disney movies when there's like this skinny little alley cat that's scrounging around in the dumpster and pulls out a, a fish bone like that. That's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So there's something about like foraging for scraps and... It's like you're you're evolving out of that you're evolving out of diving into the dumpsters you're evolving out of um ah yeah survival fears ah okay maybe this is the fear you're moving beyond survival fears hmm and again i feel like this unicorn is the friend i i feel like this is like that's the friend and they're giving you some information they're giving you something because the conch shell reminds me of like uh, communication. It's like talking on a shell phone. <laughs> so something about this friend communicating to you, helping to expand your psychic abilities, giving you this key that unlocks this big thing for you and gets you out of survival mode. Ah, uh, okay. 
And it could be somebody who you've met through social media or somebody who you have on your social media platforms. It could even be somebody who... Yeah, I mean, it could be somebody who you've, who you've never met and you just like their videos or something like that, but or, or their content or their posts, but something... I feel like it's more personal. I, I Just personally speaking, I can feel the energy of it and it does feel like it's a little bit more... Um, direct than that look at this in the self you have more spiritual growth here with the lotus the lotus is like a representation of enlightenment it is the the thousand petal lotus of the crown chakra so you're getting these big spiritual activations this month group number two it's a big expansion in your consciousness. You are connecting to your higher self. You're embodying that more than you ever have before. And that's the reason why your vital force energy and your auric field are radiating, radiating so freaking brightly. And when I get excited, I start to stumble over my words because my brain is going faster than my mouth can keep up with. But that's kind of what I'm seeing. It's like you're going so fast energetically. You're, you're growing exponentially this month it's actually so crazy because i can see it in the charms and in the cards but i can feel it stronger than anything else and i can see it clairvoyantly and you are seriously going through a massive like purge to expand moment and and, and it's like bigger than you've ever expanded before it's a, a huge activation really it is it's a huge activation and for those of you i mean if you're here on my channel and you've been drawn to my content and you're especially if you're not new here this is a deep dive spiritual content place like these aren't little like fluffy readings i mean i do those and i like those sometimes because they're sweet and they're fun but the purpose of this channel is to spiritually activate you it is to spiritually awaken you it is to get you back into your authentic truth which is love that is the purpose of me creating this and the reason why spirit directed me to do this work so if you've been drawn here, especially if you have not awakened yet, you are going to be <laughs> awakening big time. You're going to be stepping into your truth, your spiritual power, your psychic abilities, your enlightenment journey, your spiritual path unfolding, the clarity of who you are at soul level, and the love within that. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful, group number two. And I think most of you are already on this journey. And, and you're here, you're walking it, we're walking each other home together. And I can see you just really, really vibrating high this month. I just, I can't, I can't explain it any other way, group two. You're vibrating so freaking high this month. Now in the romance category, you have live the life you love. Live the life you love. So romance... I, they're showing me somebody in Paris, France, you know, like that trope of the guy in the striped shirt with the beret and he's like smoking a cigarette with his little twirly mustache and he's like, ah, l'amour, <laughs> it's like, l'amour, I, I have the worst French accent, um, something like, it's like that, it, it just feels very sensual, very romantic, yeah, and this is the romance category, so I feel like it's going to be a month of romanticization but in the best possible way because it's coming from this deep inner truth of like a unified truth of love it's not just romantic love it is love of everything and everyone but as a re as a result of that i feel like because you're opening your heart chakra and expanding your crown and your third eye so significantly this month i really feel like there's a deep sense of appreciation and connection to humanity um and you're just like savoring the flavor of love this month there's just a huge appreciation for love in all of its forms romantic platonic whatever it's all love and love is all that's what i'm seeing interesting you have no spiritual guidance for the month of december but i feel like spirit has been very clear about what the spiritual guidance is it's really about facing your fears um, overcoming these internal challenges and projections and kind of deconstructing them through transmutation with that energy of love yeah so they've been very clear about that i don't think that's i think that's why they didn't really need to put anything in that category so group number two that is what i see for you in the month ahead i really hope that this reading gave you a little bit of some more puzzle pieces maybe some synchronicities or confirmations or maybe just some insight or some guidance into your month ahead
All right, that is my highest intention. I hope that you guys spiritually grow and embody this love for your greatest and highest good. And so it is. I love you guys and appreciate you so much. Thank you for supporting the channel in all of the various ways that you do from sending in card decks. You know, most of the card decks in these readings have been sent in by donation from subscribers and members. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you guys want to check out my Amazon wish list and browse through all the decks that I have saved there, there's a, a ton because um, I'm obsessed and I'm I'm like a bit of a pack rat and a collector, so I'm like all the decks. Uh, then you can you can check those out and contribute to the channel if you want to support or see a particular deck in the readings. If you guys want to become a member here on the channel and get ad free weekly pick a card readings and monthly live streams where you can ask me personal questions directly, then hit the join button down below. It should be right under the channel or it should be right under the video. And if you don't see it there, you may need to go through a desktop computer because the app on the phones sometimes doesn't show it depending on what country you're in. And if you are looking to book a personal reading with me, I do have services available as well as downloadable e-content, which you can find through my website linked in the description box. Thanks again, guys. I love you and we will see you in the next reading. Bye. All right, hi group number three. Welcome to your December month ahead reading. Let's take a look at the energy of this month for you. You guys chose I Keep My Own Counsel. I, I just get like right away. Okay, we haven't even pulled any cards yet, but I'm already getting that you are going to be holding your truth very sacred this month, group number three. And you're trusting yourself really, really profoundly. I think it's like on a whole nother level like you are you're seriously leveling up your yeah you you're turning to yourself you're answering your own questions you're trusting your own intuition and discernment in a big way let's get some more cards i feel these two actually three okay no <laughs> you see when I feels it, I feels it. You guys are trusting yourself. You're, you're trusting yourself in a big way. This could be involved with someone else as well, but I really feel like you're trusting yourself and you're taking a leap of faith. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Presence. I'm, I'm getting this strong energy of you moving through some kind of a portal or a gateway. This is literally the the uh, the deck, I think it's called, I, I think, I can't remember, and I don't see the box behind me. I have so many boxes piled up all over there, but uh, I think it's called the deck of sacred portals or something like that. So I do feel, hold on, let me just move my bracelets so they don't scratch on the table. I feel like you're moving through a portal in the month of December, group three, and it's because you've trusted your intuition. It's it's written in your soul is what I just heard. And then they showed me the feather that she's clutching to her chest. It's written in your soul. This is part of your soul blueprint, part of your Akashic record. Um, yeah, this is a portal point. It is. And you're moving through it with presence, with trust. You, you're, you're listening to the call of your soul because it is taking you in this direction where, you know, oh, there's two here. Wow, something unexpected is about to come through this portal as you trust and move through this into the next stage. It's like you're getting from one point to the next. Um, something's going to be revealed that you didn't see was there. Landing. You're landing in this new territory. Commitment. Ooh, okay. You, well, first of all, I am definitely getting you're making a commitment to yourself to pursue what you feel called to. But group number three, I also see a partnership here. We can see it in these two cards, these two people. She's, she's, she's launching herself off one side of the cliff and she's trusting that this other person is going to help her get to the other side. And yeah, I'm seeing the scene in, um, Ahsoka, where she has to trust her fellow Jedi sort of trainee 
to get her onto the ship. So she has to use the force to push herself halfway. And then he uses the force to push her the other half of the way or to pull her the other half of the way. I can't remember, but it's like they have to both use the force to get her all the way across this bridge or this gap. And she makes it. And it's like through this trust and this, this force of will, force of belief and, and faith in each other. Like that's big faith in each other, literally stepping into like air um, but it's this commitment, it's this commitment to each other that really is either the foundation of this trust or that helps to build this trust. You're landing in this new territory. You're like, there's this portal that you're moving through and you're, you're landing in this territory where there's this foundation for commitment because you've trusted yourself. I think you're attracting someone or you're enhancing your relationship with somebody who already exists into this deep, deep, deep layer of trust. Yeah, it's like... It's like you, I, I, I've just got to say it, I, I can't, um, it, when I'm channeling and when I'm doing a reading, I've said this many times before, but if you haven't heard me say it, I'm going to say it again. When I'm channeling, if I get something intuitively that comes through, that wants to channel through and I don't say it, I hit a block and it's like I can't go forward from there. So it's like I have, I literally have to say it to keep moving. Um, and I, I feel like, first of all, this is a block that you are transcending by using your presence of trust to move beyond that and and to have this deeper layer of commitment come as a result but i'm also seeing that this is the type of relationship if it is another person whom you would like die for like you would give up your life for this person and they would do the same for you that is i like obviously we don't want that to happen um and it won't but it's that type of that depth of commitment like that that's for life that that is the ultimate in commitment and it almost makes me overwhelmed emotion like i'm almost starting to tear up because i can feel that depth of love and that depth of trust like i would take a bullet for you i would give up my life for yours that's how much i love you so of course you're going to trust because That this person or, or you are so committed to you. If it's just you, but I do feel like there's someone else here. I do. I, I've got to say it and I can't, you know, deny that that's what I feel. No, okay. I thought it was that one, but it didn't want to come out. This this one. <laughs> you guys, you can't make this shit up. Like the lover and the beloved. You see, it's you trusting this relationship, this lover, this connection, a deep commitment. This is like a marriage of souls. It's beyond just human ideas of marriage. It's it's a it's a union of souls. This is this is like ugh, I don't even like saying this, but again, I have to say it when I'm channeling, or otherwise I can't move forward. This is like the other half. Dare I say, twin flame? Am I going to be bold enough to say it? Yeah, I am. Because I, that's what I see. And um, I think that there's a lot of distortion and illusion in the Twin Flame spiritual community. There's a lot of toxicity and karmic relationships masquerading as Twin Flames. Uh, but, I, you know, maybe this isn't the place for that. What I'm seeing in your reading group number three is this deep spiritual bond between you and another where you have kept your own counsel and built this relationship with yourself and this person is a mirror of that you trust them implicitly and they trust you implicitly there's a deep sense of presence and understanding between you two there's a deep sense of commitment and it's like it's destined it's destined and it's such it's like what it's, it's like what romance stories are made of but even better, because this is like a galactic romance story. This is a soul level romance story that transcends space and time and physical marriage. This is a marriage of souls that has been going on for eternity and will continue into infinity and beyond. This is just mind blowing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I want to get this. Whoops. Okay. That one really wants to be here. Snapdragon. Listen with care, speak with kindness. This is somebody who speaks very, very 
kindly to you, who listens with care, who, who shows presence. And that's why you trust them because they keep your counsel and they, they allow you to trust yourself. Like this isn't the type of person who breeds dependency. This is the type of person who encourages your autonomy because in, a, in an essence, they are you. You also have forget me not always remain true to your intentions. This person helps to keep you on track. Yeah, this person has your best interest at heart. Like this is the type of unconditional love that we all are looking for in this life. Bottom of the deck, success will be found if you hold on to hope, Jasmine. I did just get the name Jasmine. Maybe somebody's name here is Jasmine. Um, or maybe one of this, these people in this couple is named Jasmine. But yeah, I was like seeing Princess Jasmine in my mind. Um... Oh yeah, and Aladdin reaches out his hand, kind of like this, and, and says, you know, do you trust me? And Jasmine's like, yes, and she takes his hand and they go flying all around on the magic carpet. So it, it's that type of thing where like this person is very pure hearted, a diamond in the rough, and so are you. And you're, that's why you're this perfect match, the lover and the beloved. It's an equal exchange. It's a deep level spiritual commitment. Um, and success will be found when you hold on to hope. So if this person is not in your life uh, and you've kind of lost hope that this is possible, spirit really wants you to know that in December, something is happening in regard to this relationship. If you have not met them yet, keep the hope and faith alive because they're, they do exist. They are out there. That is, that is a fact is what spirit just said. That is definitive. Wow. And they don't, they don't use all or nothing statements unless it is 100% truth. Now, if you are already with this person, this is just really deepening into a whole nother layer of your commitment. This is you two moving through a portal together and expanding your trust and, and really deepening your sense of connection with each other, landing in this new territory where you can really come together in a whole new way. Yeah, there's much better connection, much better communication. If there were any um, times of separation, which I know that's kind of part of some of the stories of the twin flame journey. It's like you come together and then you, you repel and separate. You have to work on yourselves. And then you, once, you, once you integrate your own self-love uh, and trust, then you can like magnetize back together. It's kind of like that because I was getting that from the forget-me-nots. It's like, don't forget me. Well, you can't. You can't forget your twin flame. They're literally you. <laughs> in, it's like your soul in two different bodies at the same time. So you can't forget them. Okay, I feel called to the, the, the true heart. Yeah, this is called the true heart intuitive tarot. Yeah, this is like this person has a true heart. You have a true heart. And December, there's something that's happening. You're moving through a portal towards this person. Um, you're getting closer together, whether it's happening in December or it's leading up to that. You have the King of Wands. This person could be a masculine of a fire sign quality, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. They don't have to be. Um, and if, if you're the masculine, then that could be part of your qualities or your traits. Um, just courageous, bold, passionate, very romantic, truthful, integrous. That's the energy I'm getting. Oh, no way. The king of discs as well. Two kings. And uh, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is the king of pentacles. And this is very stable, grounded, abundant, financially uh, successful energy. Again, I'm getting commitment very strongly. Somebody who wants to invest in you. Um, somebody who wants to support you. Somebody who wants to really be there for you for the long haul. That's really what I'm getting. And also this card wants to be here. Look at that. <laughs> Counterparts. You see, you see, spirit speaks so loud and clear. Um, counterparts, this is matching energy, matching energy. This is a deep level commitment. This is like, yeah, two sides of the same coin. Mm-hmm. And the Ten of Discs. I just, I was going to put the deck down and then I felt that card and I had to pull it. Ten of Discs, this is the happily ever after. This, the long, stable life together. The, the deep commitment that builds this legacy. 
it builds an entire world. Like, look at that, uh, this like big chunk of land that they're sitting on together. And the, the, the matching or mirroring of the peacocks. It's this stability, this foundation that this very solid, stable earth energy builds. So I do feel like this is going to manifest as a physical thing. And eight of discs on the bottom of the deck as well. So I do feel like this is going to manifest as a physical thing in your life. This person is going to come in or is already in your life and you're building this very long-term stable life together. You know, like working together in business. Um, I can see that for sure. Being, it doesn't have to be, but I'm getting that strongly. So I'll say it. Building a life together, building a family together, building a legacy, building up a home together. It's like this deep, deep state of trust where you're really going all in with this person because they are matching that energy. They are going all in with you. So it's like this very mutual, reciprocal, um, beautiful relationship. It really is beautiful. I mean, this is the stuff of dreams right here. Like every little girl, I mean, at least I know I definitely dreamed about things like this. And I see this in your reading group three. So you are blessed this month of December. Now we're going to go even deeper. So I'm going to start gathering up these cards and we're going to pull out the charm chart and we're going to look at each different area of your life in regard to these themes we're seeing using the charms. All right, so for group number three, what do they need to know in the month ahead? Uh, Spirit for December 2023. Okay, just get these sorted out here. I think that was meant to be, oh no, it is meant to be there, okay. is in between okay all right so group number three you have in the work category now this doesn't have to be your career or job but uh, something that you're doing on a daily basis or that you're passionate about but it certainly can relate to career we have the cat looking up at the butterfly I'm getting an energy of observation rebirth spring um, it does feel like a transition into some kind of new growth. So there could be growth in your work uh, this month and people could be observing you and admiring your beauty or admiring what it is that, that like the essence of who you are. I don't mean beauty as in like physical attractiveness, but that could be part of it. Certainly, especially if there's a beloved here that you're attracting in, um, they could most definitely be admiring you in the month of December especially in regard to your work and your i just heard work ethic yeah somebody somebody is watching your work ethic and they're admiring you um they see your value and they see your beauty that's what i just get yeah that's what i get there okay in the home front you have this open eye i keep getting this energy of observation so we're seeing that observation there from in the work environment somebody observing you in your element, doing really well. Um, in the home front, I see you observing something. You're looking at something. What are you looking at, group number three? Hold on one sec, let me see. Yeah, I see you watching TV. I see you, like you're watching a movie or something and, and there's something about the movie. It's like you're sitting on the couch watching something. Um, and it's like it's it's changing the way you think but in a good way in this case like it's not it's not like subliminal programming that's brainwashing you it, it's it's like a psychological uh spiritual level activation that's coming as as a result of um something that you're watching it could be like a love story or something and it's like it triggers or activates this archetypal path of this spiritual or sacred union uh, if you're not with them already, or this could be you watching that with someone. But I feel, I just have to say, I feel like for you, group number three, you're probably not with this person right now because that's the dominant energy I'm getting. But you might be because there's lots of people who watch these videos and these are general readings. So I, but I, I always go with like the dominant energy and the dominant energy that I'm picking up on is that most of you in this group are not with this person yet, but you're activating that template and you're going to, you're about to step into it. December is like, um, 
it's like a catalyst month or a tipping point where all of a sudden this activation is ready to go because the divine timing is unfolding exactly in a very a very synchronized way and there's something that you're watching at home it's a movie it could be a romantic movie and it's activating within you this archetypal template it's like you know um you know those like russian spy things where it's like you've been raised by a russian spy and you've been brainwashed and you have like this trigger code or this activation code so anytime somebody says this one line it like activates you into spy mode or like okay this it, it's not the best example because that it, it's not at all like that but it is like that in a sense it's like this movie is an activation code that's the best way I can describe it, but it's not because you're brainwashed. It's not because you're some Russian spy who's going to go kamikaze and suicide bomb. No, it's like it's activating your uh, the template for this divine union. And it was always built into the soul. You, you, you planned this with your counterpart before even incarnating. And this, whatever this movie is, I don't know, but like you're just going to feel compelled to watch it and it's going to activate that within you. You might even experience a lot of emotional reaction while you're watching the movie. Um, cause I am seeing somebody like feeling a lot emotionally, like, and sensations in the body too, like expansion of the heart, um, clarity of mind, maybe even crying because it hits so deep, you know, something like that. And, uh, that's, that's the activation. It's like, you've just gone into full twin flame mode. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, uh, moving on. In family, we have the Golden Lotus. We have the... Um, what is that? Like, a yeah, saw? I was going to say hacksaw, but I think that's just a saw. And then key. Silver key. Huh, okay. Um, they're showing me like cutting a log into segments. So I feel like you are kind of like chopping something down into more bite-sized pieces and you're able to then work with that a bit better. It's like the, the full log would be too cumbersome. So you're able to compartmentalize it. And that's the key. That's the key to this spiritual growth. There's, there's some kind of compartmentalization that you're doing. This is in the family category, interestingly enough. So it could be you're setting aside something from the family or cutting something out and that allows you to unlock this this spiritual expansion because the lotus always reminds me of um enlightenment so it does feel like you're doing some kind of enlightenment work this month that seems to be a theme for all the groups but um for you guys it's related to this love this deep love and commitment so it's a little different but it's still equally as profound and, and activating. Wow, yeah. But there's something about compartmentalization. I'm not quite sure what that's referring to, but, um, you know, keep keep that little saw. Like, remember this image of the saw? Keep that in the back of your mind um, and see what that means for you in the month of December because I think you'll it'll make sense at a later point. It might, it might not make sense right now because it doesn't to me. And usually when that happens, it's because there's something else that's needing to come after that will allow you to understand the context of this cue, of this symbol. All right. In the friends category, we have a wing and a little, whoops, flower there. Okay. I just see uh, sweetness and protection. I see delicacy and protection, like being very delicate and being protected. Your friends really have your back. I think there's a lot of trust in your friendships as well. You could meet this person through a friend. I did just get that. Um, or a friend could really support you in, in this relationship. I'm, yeah, hmm. I'm just getting that you connect with this person through a friend in some way. It, it could be indirectly. It could be like a, a like a setup or a blind date. I, I don't know. Or maybe it's at a friend's gathering at a house. Maybe it's for the holidays or something. You're going to, you know, friend, friend Christmas or friend Christmas 
gift exchange something and, and then you meet this person. Or Hanukkah. I don't know why I just got Hanukkah. <laughs> Somebody Jewish? Um, interesting. Okay. Social media. We have this big, big silver dragon. Powerful silver dragon. You have this big tree as well. There's going to be big things in social media. Okay. There's literally two big things here. And then you've got this butterfly. Hmm. I just keep getting this energy of ascension. Ascension, spiritual ascension, growth, energy activations. It, it, like, I, I'm trying to, like, see the practical sides of it, but I'm really just getting the higher level side of it. Um, so you're transforming this month, and there's something about social media that is growing for you, that is transforming, that's taking flight, that's taking off. It's really, really powerful. It's really big. I don't feel like this is related to the other stuff that we're seeing in the reading. This feels completely separate and compartmentalized. Maybe that's why that saw is there. It's like it's completely separate. Um, but it's part of your spiritual ascension. So in that way, it's indirectly connected. But uh, yeah, there's some, some massive growth happening on social media this month, group number three. Okay, in the self, you have no charms doesn't mean that you're not focusing on yourself. I just think that a lot of this is the work you've already done. Like, I feel like you've done a lot of work, group number three, in terms of your self-development, your personal healing, your psychic growth, your self-trust. That has been the hugest focus. And we saw that right from the get-go in this reading. And now I see that that's no longer necessarily the focus. It's more external because you've already done the internal work. Whereas group one and group two, they were really focusing a lot on that internal work. You've already kind of done that here. And um, in, this, in this point in time, at this trajectory of your spiritual journey, you are actually doing more external stuff and uh, going into that next phase. In the romance category, we have the B. So it's going to be busy in, in the month of December in terms of romance. And the OM sign fell right in between spiritual guidance and romance and I did I, I was going to move it into spiritual guidance and then they told me no leave it on the line because it's supposed to be both so there's something again like I said there's a very deep spiritual connection in this romantic twin flame relationship and it's being activated um yeah it's like hive mind where you're telepathically connected you're you're two two sides of the same energy um and you're both vibrationally attracting to each other because the bees remind me of vibration that's how they fly it's not just with their wings uh they actually use resonant sound in a hollow concave thing in their neck that uh, creates a particular frequency which makes them lighter the ancient egyptians actually knew how to do this too you can use sound to um de-densify i don't even think that's a word but like it makes matter lighter so it kind of um makes it easier to move that's how they were able to move really big stones uh quite easily because if you if you know the harmonic frequency you can make the density of the matter lighter and then it's a lot easier to work with so that's kind of what i'm seeing here is that you you're vibrationally raising your frequency as one both of you wherever you happen to be at these points in time and then it's like that magnetism just kind of draws you together yeah it's a it's deeply profoundly spiritual and then you have the dolphin as well and dolphins remind me of pods, community, connection, laughter, play, joy, um, children. Yeah, it's it, it also feels like, oh, echolocation, sonar, frequency. You're sending out a signal. You're receiving that signal. A signal is being activated in you. You're compartmentalizing. You're growing. You're expanding. There's um, activations and connections in your social circles, and you're seeing this person gravitate towards you or you're being magnetized towards them very interesting i want to say the spiritual guidance for you in the month of december group number three is to go with the flow to trust your instincts trust your intuition uh feel and sense because that's what's going to lead you in the right direction so make sure you're paying attention to your body how you feel get very grounded we did see those two pentacles cards well three pentacles cards but the king and queen of pentacles so yeah get very grounded in your body um 
that is what's going to help you to really sense and feel into what's happening at that very expanded spiritual or psycho psychic level. Yeah, it's all very metaphysical, but um, there's physical results of this. There's physical things at play here. And the, the manifestation of this has been underway for a long time, but it's been catalyzed by this particular point in time. It's like the activation code got triggered and boom, now all of a sudden the magnetizing has begun. So success. I just see success here with Jasmine. It's, it's like it's, it's fated. It's de no, it's not beyond fate. It's destined. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that is what I see for you. Group number three. What a, an interesting reading. Spirit really wanted to talk about it today. And December seems like it's a big month for love and um, this, this romantic connection. So uh, yeah. Thank you for being here on the channel. I hope this reading helped in some way, supported you through the month ahead and beyond, and um, gave you some insight, synchronicities, confirmation, guidance, whatever it is that you needed. That's always my highest intention. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel in all your various ways, through your views, you know, shares, comments, connection here in the community, on the channel, your positivity, your love. Um, through donations of cards, you guys, like most of these cards have been sent in, the charms were sent in. Um, thank you guys for that. You've really, really blown me away with your generosity and kindness and support. It deeply, deeply humbles me and it's an honor. So thank you. Um, and if you guys want to become a member here on the channel, that's also available. You get ad free weekly pick a card readings, additional uh, fun pick a card readings, and also monthly live streams with me where you can ask me personal questions. If you're interested in that, hit the join button below. If you don't see it there, you might need to go through a desktop computer uh, because sometimes it doesn't show up on your app on your phone. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, do a private session or something like that, I do have services available and as well as downloadable e-content through my website, which is linked in the description box. Thank you again, guys. I love you and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye.